You're probably wondering if Brilliant Earth is the best place to get your diamonds from. Either if you plan to get a Lebron diamond or a natural one, you should keep watching the next 5 to 6 minutes. Because in this video, we'll do a full review of Brilliant Earth. We will cover their pricing, the video technology, their inventory, and much more. If you are interested in Lebron diamonds, we will also cover the difference between CVD diamonds, which is most of what Brilliant Earth offers, and HPHD diamonds, so you'll have a better understanding of what you get. By the time you finish watching this short video, you'll have all the information needed to decide if Brilliant Earth is a good fit for you or not. The best way to do it is by comparing them to the largest competitor in the market and see which one provides more value for your money. Right from the start, it's important to mention that both offer pretty much the same policies, free shipping and free returns. The main difference is the pricing, the selection of the diamonds, the video technology that allows us to inspect the diamonds, and the source of the Lebron diamonds. Let's start with the pricing. We'll compare four pairs of similar Lebron diamonds that share the same card weight, color and clarity with triple X, no fluorescence, and graded by the IGI. On Brilliant Earth, for the cheapest diamond of 0.9 GVS2, you will need to pay $1,610. From the other vendor, for the same grades, you will need to pay $1,400. So you can save $210. On Brilliant Earth, for the cheapest diamond of 1 carat FVS1, you will need to pay $2,220. From the other retailer, for the same attributes, you will need to pay $240, so now you can save $180. On Brilliant Earth, for the cheapest diamond of 1.5 carat EVVS2, you will need to pay $5,700. From the other retailer, for the same grades, you will need to pay $5,280, so now you can save $420. And last, if you want to get a 2 carat EVS1, on Brilliant Earth, you'll need to pay $9,290. From the other retailer, for the same grades, you'll need to pay $8,640. So now you can save $650. So clearly, the largest competitor wins the pricing comparison. Although we checked only Legburn Diamonds, they win as well on the natural diamonds field. Please know that every diamond is unique and the selection is changing constantly. If you like a diamond, contact customer service and ask to put it on hold for you, so you won't lose it for someone else. Moving to inventory. If we change the search options to show all diamonds, both natural and lab-grown, all color and clarity grades, all card weights and all cut levels, we'll know which retailer has more variety to offer. We can see that Brilliant Earth has around 73,000 natural diamonds and 45,000 lab-grown diamonds while the other competitor has 184,000 natural diamonds and 200 Legron diamonds. But here's the twist. I want to ask you to pay close attention to one very important thing. Look at Brilliant Earth's gallery and you'll notice there is an option to filter the diamonds to show only those that have a video that allows us to inspect the diamond. If we check that box, now we have only 55,000 natural diamonds and 34,000 lab diamonds. Doing a quick calculation, almost 25% of the diamonds are not photographed, meaning we cannot inspect and evaluate those diamonds. With that, the retailer, all of their 204,000 diamonds are photographed. Nowadays, you won't give someone thousands of dollars without knowing what you get. In my opinion, buying an unphotographed diamond is not an option. But here is another and very crucial thing to keep in mind when buying a photographed diamond from Brilliant Earth. Notice that every photo has a different background color, meaning there are different lighting and white balance. This makes it impossible to know the real color of the diamond, so we cannot compare different diamonds and choose the right one. On the competitor's gallery, on the other end, there is a consistent grey background, with the same lighting and white balance on all of their inventory. For once, we can see the real color of the diamond, because they use natural lighting. So with the other retailers' videos, we can compare different diamonds and decide which one has a better color. Just like some brick and mortar stores use bright lights to confuse the customer's eyes, there are online companies that do the same. They create beauty shots by using bright light in the frame. By doing so, the diamond appears brighter than it actually is. When looking for a diamond online, 
you want to make sure the company shows the diamond without manipulating your eyes. In conclusion, since the other retailer uses natural light on all of the videos, you can feel safe that what you see is what you get. Buying without seeing a clear image of the diamond is a gamble that not many customers are willing to take. You can click the link below and test it yourself. Moving to the last comparison, lab-grown diamonds. When talking about lab-grown diamonds, we need to split them into two different groups. HPHT diamonds, those diamonds are made just like natural diamonds by using high-pressure, high-temperature process. You get a diamond, has grown, with no post-growth treatment or color enhancement. And the second group is CVD diamonds. Those diamonds are made with chemical vapor deposition process. In many cases, the end result is brown or grey diamonds. Of course, most people don't want such diamonds, so the manufacturers often use a post-growth treatment to enhance the color of the diamond, to change it to a better grade. As you probably can guess, the HPHT process is more complicated and more expensive. While Brilliant Earth offers many CVD-treated diamonds, the other vendor offers only untreated diamonds, as grown, mostly HPHT. I want to make it clear. In the natural diamonds market, a diamond seller can use the same process to enhance a natural diamond's color, but such diamonds are much cheaper. If we go back to the pricing comparison, we'll see that Brilliant Earth does the opposite. The price of the CVD-treated diamond is higher than the price of the competitor's untreated HPHT diamond. You, as the customer, need to know that and decide which one gives you more value for your money. You can check the IGI certificate to see if the diamond is treated or if it's as grown. In conclusion, the combination of better selection with superior display, more competitive prices and as grown Lebron diamonds makes the other retailer the winner between the two. So it is the one I recommend buying from. You can start your research by clicking the link below and look for the right diamond. Check the diamonds with the 360 HD videos and try to find out the right one. If you are not sure which one to get, or if you simply need an expert on your side, contact me and I'll be glad to give you my free advice. In any case, I'm on your side. If you want to let me do the heavy lifting, click the find the diamond link below, answer 4 simple questions and I will do the research for you for free. If you want to learn more about diamonds, go to labdiamondsreview.com.